Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this nice looking projector. It is done by a company called Blitzwolf and the model on this is BW-VP5. You can see that it is really nicely designed. It has all the functions that you're looking for and more. I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification icon and select all to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly for you. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. Except that this is how the box really looks. And once we open it, there are some little things that we have to go through. So you can see the top opens and then the... Box lights out. So it comes with a user manual. You can see the name. And it has their model number written right underneath of it, which says BWVP5. And then once you open it, it has all of the information there. So you can see on the content that this is on a few different languages. And that's why it's a little thick. But we will cover most of the stuff in this video. And we will walk you through step by step of what these guys are offering you in this projector. And what it's going to bring on the table for us. The next thing that is part of this is this little box. Now inside of this box, usually all of the accessories going to be in it. And as we expected, these three items are in this, actually four items are in this. The first thing that we have is the audio jack on one side and then the three RCA connectors on the other side. This is how you're going to be able to connect your old VCRs or camcorders so you can view them on the wall. Here you go, this is for the voice. These two are for right and left and this is for video, as usual. The next part is the power adapter. Now this is not an adapter, this is a regular power connector. You can see that it is regular connector on one side and then you have this part that is compatible to Canada and United States, different places in the world. When you go into their website, they have the plug connectors or you have to select the proper one in order to get it. The next part is the HDMI cable. Now this is not that long as you can check, which is really good. We're going to be able to put an Android box right on top of this and then we're going to be able to test it or if you have a different type of dongles, place them too for casting or anything else that you want to connect. This will really help you out. And it also comes with a little remote. Now this is IR remote. You can see that it's very basic the way that's created. And there's a lot of other companies that are using same type of remote. This is made out of plastic as you can hear it. And when you go to the back, you have to place a little force in order to open the back. You can see it that it is opening. There you go. No, we didn't break it. It's just the way that it opens. And you have to put two AAA batteries in this in order to make this work, but it is not part of the box. And we can go from the top. You can see it has the power, the mute button, also play and pause, rewind button, fast forward. You have the four-way navigation key with the OK in the middle. Also, you have the return key. This is really helpful. Also, you have the menu key, the change source button, or we can just call it source button, volume up and volume down. That's about it. Except that it doesn't have any markings or anything else. And you can see on the top that there is the IR sensor, which is right here. And then they have a little part so when you put it on the floor, it doesn't wobble. So it's really cool the way that they have designed this. And then comes the actual projector. So it is inside of a plastic. You have to roll up on the top and then you can take it out. It has a little handle on top. Makes it very portable, very easy to hold. It looks very nice. It looks very slick. You can see that the lens is really nice and big, the way that they have designed it. And it's right in the front, in the middle. Their name is written really nicely and it's standing out the way that they have the font set up. 
Now there are some holes in the bottom which is really nicely designed. There is a little hole. Now this is for indicator when you're connecting your Bluetooth speaker to this or you want to use it as a Bluetooth speaker that will really help you out. Now there is a really cool design on the sides of it which you can see right now and this looks like speakers on the side of it. Now you can see that the design is really nice and this is where you will be able to hear the music. Now going to the back it has the IR indicator then you do have the headset jack, you have the AVN, you have the HDMI and you one USB connection and then you have a TF card reader which can read up to 32 gigabyte. Now if you look right on the bottom part in the back you also have the power connection which is really really cool that you're going to be able to see. Now going on the other side of it it looks exactly like the right side and that is where it has the speakers hidden and then you have the little letter handle that they have put on the top and it's very nice and it's not going to hurt your hand when you're holding it. Right on the top part you will see a focus and this is how you will be able to fix the focus only. And right on the top too you have to press this button in order to turn it on or you want to turn off this projector. Alright so we will connect this to the power. And then we will use the focus to focus it on the screen. Once you turn on the screen, this is what you see as main screen. What I really like is how simple it is, the way that they have designed all of this. So first thing, the back is totally white and then you have different colors. So first thing is it says that there's a USB connection and then you have movies and you have music photos and text yes you can even view your text on this perfectly on the top you have source and then settings so if i have to use this remote that came with it and i have to point to the screen and i have to select it really selects i do not have to point it towards the actual projector in order to select it a lot of projectors have that issue but these are the little things that blitzware have taken care of for us. I just have to point and you can see that that when I select it just selects that app for me. Now if I have to go on the top like that and I have to select the actual source there you go. So we have really cool ideas over here too. The best thing that I really like about this projector is when you're not using the projector you can use it as a regular Bluetooth speaker which is right there so you need to select that and then you will be able to connect your mobile or tablet to this in order to use it really nice and loud speaker. There you go. Now it plays the music properly from the actual projector so we can use it as a regular and it's very loud. Another thing is the USB connection itself so if you have any movies like right now I'm showing it will be able to broadcast it for you. You just have to connect the Bluetooth the USB in the back and then you can select the movie as I'm showing right now and it will be playing. Another thing that I really like is the TF card reader which is right there so if you have any movies on that as I'm showing right now that you're connecting the TF card it will easily play it for you. Another good part is the actual AV so that way if you have any VHS or anything you want to play this will really nicely play it for you. So if we go under HDMI itself now is the nice thing that I'm just going to make that a total different video after this that how you're going to be able to connect and I'm going to connect one of my favorite Android boxes to this so we can play with it. Now the next part is going to be the actual settings. So let's go in and see what is involved inside of it. Yes, very nice and easy. It says picture mode is a standard. So if you click on it, this is where you're going to be able to select and you will be able to make it soft user and this is how you're going to be able to manipulate the actual settings so you can get a nice crisp and dark pictures and you can go back on a top and you will be able to make it vivid and more. The next part is the actual color temperature you can select it and you can also make it the same way so it will have a different feelings and also you can change your aspect ratios a lot of the movies that we have on VHS it's always 4x3 and you can leave it on auto so that way it will detect itself and most of the time that does not really 
work. And the next part is the actual noise reduction. We always leave it on middle. You can make it high. If there is a lot of greens, it will mash it out for you. But I always like to leave it on middle. So this is just a fan noise exactly how loud it can get. It's very loud. Now this was the sound quality with the sound on. Now this is the lux meter. Exactly tells you how much lux you will get out of this projection with the widescreen. So you can see that it changes the more back you will go. All right, so I just connected my Buzz TV XRS4500 to this, and I'm just gonna select the HDMI. There you go, and select it. I really like it that right on the bottom it says that this is 1080p 60 hertz which is awesome and now let's go through and play with this now this projector comes with 720p native resolution on top of that it can intake maximum 1080p but if you see the pictures are very vibrant and i have to change some settings in order to make it more vibrant i know that i'm moving the camera back and forth but let's make this a lot clearer and better so there you go it looks a lot crisp if you have it in a little bit more darker room this is how it looks and if we want to test it in a light room this is how faded it will get again it's not bad but you have to understand that it will be a little bit faded unless you have one of those dark screens if you want to learn about that link is available in the bottom but we're trying to get that on our hands so we can review that screen too and see if you want to buy one of those for this type of reasons all right so now let's test to see what type of picture it will bring when we're trying to play our own video from youtube and also see what type of color it will bring and what type of sound it will bring out now you have to understand that this is not part of the projector this is one of the android boxes that we really like and that's why we're showing this so here's our channel and here's our videos that we have created and that way we can show you a few of them so we can tell you what type of colors it will bring on the table for us thank you for visiting our channel Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this beautiful earbuds. It is done by a company called Boomaker and it is modeled Sci-Fi 2. So I had to mute it in order for us to tell you the color quality. It's not bad, it's very bright than the other projectors I have seen. Now you have to understand that this is 720p quality. It's really good, even when you are trying to show everything on the screen and you want to zoom in to see the pixels, it's accurate, it's really nice, it's really mashed out perfectly. So this way, when you are watching it, even on a little bit light room, it should be able to view everything. Only thing is, when you go to menu itself, because it's so much white, it's going to look a little bit faded out. But you can see right now this video looks vibrant i am not going to edit any kind of things into this so that way you will know exactly what type of colors it will bring on the table for you but this is how easy and how nice it is to know that even little de details on the screen itself will be able to show accurately so this way it is not out of focus all the links will be available we can order it from and also more info in the bottom of this video Except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.